What will this new four boat look like on my mega screen? Stay to discover it intro and we begin. Digital greetings to all. I am the electronic engineer Javier Guerrero and today I bring you a new projector from the Wombo series that has been launched just a week ago. This is the new Uwen Boat 4, the first projector in the Wombo series with a camera and artificial intelligence. The Uwen Boat 4 follows the line of the projectors, the Wombo CD, that is, it has a very similar design, with good construction quality and in this model it has very interesting novelties. And the main one is the automatic electronic autofocus and we are going to see how it does it. Stay until the end because here the projectors are not taken out of the box they are projected and as is done in most channels here I do real tests with real instruments also today I will test it on that big screen that I built myself in my previous video now we are going to sandboxing. This is the new presentation of the one boat and four in a box that is a little more colorful and with all its features when you open it, the first thing you see is how well this projector is packed and protected. Inside you will find a small use and care manual a typical remote control for Wombo projectors that is not Bluetooth, it is only infrared a universal voltage adapter, that is, it supports from 100 to 240 volts input and generates 29 volts and 2 output amps 10 volts more than its predecessors and this increase in voltage explains the increase in brightness as well. In addition to a power cable for the adapter and finally, the projector is well bagged and protected by foam rubber. The way in which these projectors are protected is something worth highlighting. Boat 2 Max that I have also already reviewed in this channel. The Big 4 boat is built in hard plastic that feels great to the touch and with a very decent build quality at the front is its 4 cm diameter lens that is pure glass and not plastic and below it its large hot air outlet grill but the great novelty of the T4 is that it incorporates this small video camera that uses it to capture its own projection and correct it when required. On the sides, complete with the two speakers that give us 6 watts of stereo power, on the top is the only manual control of the projector, its power button and, as always, on its back is all its connectivity, its voltage input, one USB port, 2.0 and HDMI input 2.0 a status LED and an analog audio output of 3.5mm it also has this small air inlet grill for my taste but that I will improve later for its cooling and at the bottom has a quarter inch nut so you can use it with a tripod. As you can see, it is a well-known and very reliable design of the Guambos, and it is also very comfortable to handle, so it is still a portable projector. The new Uwen Boat Quattro projector was recently launched on September 6th at a cost of about $220 with the Van Gogh promotion using the links that I leave in the video description. This Uwen Boat 4 is a projector the CD that is superior to the Uwen Boat 2 Max and T2R Max but is below the Uwen Boat's iMax both in cost and the Lumitson yes but in this new model or both have added new very interesting features how am I going to tell you and highlight them in their specifications. It is a machine with sealed optics and projection technology. The CD integrates a 4-core MediaTek MT9.1 2.9 processor with a full gigabyte of RAM and 16 gigabytes of storage. Projection size up to 200 inches. Full H native resolution. Plus has increased brightness to 450 ANSI lumens full Android 9 operating system non-certified full new Wi-Fi 6 dual band built-in Bluetooth 5.0 connectivity. Built-in camera with artificial intelligence for autofocus full 4-point adjustable keystone correction full automatic vertical correction with gyroscope has two 3-watt side mounted speakers. LED lifespan up to 20,000 hours present an average latency of 55 milliseconds with HDMI cable and generates a maximum consumption of 65 watts. And there are other Guambo projectors disassembled before but this T4 has a couple of new features that are worth learning more about. The front cover houses the camera and on the back we find the first novelty, this small video module with spy serial interface. This is a little 2 megapixel camera with enough artificial intelligence to calculate the distance, tell the difference between sharp and blurry and send the data to the cool processor. 
The internal block of the projector is the same design of the machines with sealed optics of the Guambo series but something interesting is the larger size of the acoustic boxes that perhaps better in the sound of the speakers. Observe that since the grill is at the top, the air goes down this heatsink and is absorbed by this slot, which is the entrance to the air turbine that is at the base and that blows forwards, cooling this radiator and which, in turn, extracts heat lead power. There are two front and rear infrared sensors to be able to control the T4 from any angle. This integrated card is the MediaTek MTK92.6.9 processor with integrated storage chip and wireless mode, which this time is dual band but hidden in the back. Deep inside the card is a tiny accelerometer and gyroscope microchip and you'll see what it's capable of later. Another new feature is the electronic focus and here we can already see something of it, but it is better to remove it from the speaker on this side to better spy. And how do they see? It is a small stepper motor that controls the rotation of the entity. A stepper motor doesn't spin like crazy like a toy car motor. This type of motor only rotates a small angle each step and that is why they are more precise. But I'm sure you want to see it in action and not tell you about it, so here you go. As soon as we turn on the projector, it looks for its focus and tries to autofocus as they see it, but we can also rotate the lens with the control in small angular steps to be more precise. These new features are great and I'm really looking forward to testing them and because of this additional hardware the new one vote 4 is a bit more expensive for now I won't go too long on the postmortem because I have a lot of testing to do on this projector. Finally, the time has come to try this 4 bottle on my new projection screen that I built in my previous video and if you didn't see how I did it, I'll leave the video above in the suggestions, now I'll learn it and let's see how it goes. I already have the T4 in its first power up and although I have not touched any parameters it still seems to me a decent brightness considering that my room is not completely dark yet the first thing I will do is connect it to my Wi-Fi network and here you can see that this T4 if it is dual band since it captures my two Wi-Fi bands. The Big Pot 4 allows you to manually correct the projection in its four corners as I am doing now to have a perfectly rectangular screen. One of the things to highlight is its configuration menu since it is very complete and the same as the one that the Uenboat Dose Remax brings this firmware has a lot of image and sound adjustments for what caliber is the projection of the T4 to your liking and even the possibility of resetting the factory to return it to its initial values in case you want to sell it one day. Although my screen is large, first I project it to a recommended size where they don't get lost in a lot of brightness or a lot of resolution, that's why I'll put it at 2.5 meters from the screen and at that distance it achieved about 100 inches of projection. Be careful, the Boat 4 is a mid-range projector and they are not for very bright environments or for daylight, such a projector would need at least 2,500 or 3,000 ANSI lumens with a cost of course higher. To enjoy T4 you need an environment with controlled lighting and when I say controlled it means from medium light to below. If you can achieve that at home and with a white screen like mine, believe me the experience will be very good as you see it here. So that you can see the difference, turn on the light in my living room and I would leave it at 70% lighting and look how it looks in these conditions, it is not ideal, but at least it looks. If I turn off another light and left a small bulb lighting drops to 20% I can still see into my room and the projection quality improves remarkably. And if he finally turned everything off, this is how I can see on my white screen with this UN4 pot and that's how he will get the most out of them. The best way to enjoy a projector is using an external video source such as a tibia stick or an ATI box from its HDMI input the advantages are many and I have already said it in several videos although the T4 already integrates Android with several applications pre-installed as it is not a certified Android, the quality of some applications such as Netflix and HB or Mac will be at most in HDO even lower while with a tibia stick you will see it in full HDO scaled to 4K because it is the maximum that this projector allows you know that a true 4K projector is still very expensive. In addition, the Big Boat 4 has a gig of RAM so don't let it take care of everything, it's smarter to leave only the projection and the external device to process the images. If you install Downloader in the Boat 4 from the Browser tab you can use it as a great browser you just put it in full screen and that's it. 
Believe me that the texts are read quite clearly and if you are wondering if you can use it to teach, that will depend on the depth of your classroom as a reference. My room is about 8 meters and I see very well although I think that in a classroom with dark curtains up to 15 or 20 m everyone will be able to see well. T4 also allow the installation of any PKY from my blog see how I can download Happy Chick as an example then install it and also McGeeStay B. As you can see here they are already installed inside the projector and if we open them you can verify that both work perfectly well. In addition to the HDMI input and the installation of freckles, another projection option in the UIN Boat 4 is duplicating the screen of your cell phone using the application and continue. Doing this is very simple and fast and as you can see the experience is not bad at all. On the contrary, I have to admit to Wombo that in this model T4 I have noticed a great improvement in the latency of wireless screen transmission. While its true streaming will never be instant, at least now you can game and stream without latency being a huge problem. How are you seeing it if you don't tell me in the comments, what do you think? The Big Pot 4 integrates two very important projection corrections. The first is related to the focus since if we move the projector from its position we will see that the image will blur and that is what these two buttons are for by pressing them we can gradually recover the focus until that we are satisfied. This could be called a manual focus of the projector. For this focus to be done automatically we must go to projector settings and here activate the autofocus option and so the projector will autofocus with its camera and with this pattern screen. From now on every time we move the projector the integrated camera will warn the blur and the projector will automatically correct it. And, the second correction is related to trapezoidal distortion, since if we tilt the projector downwards or upwards, it refocuses itself, but it acquires a trapezoidal shape that distorts the image. To solve this we must go to configuration. Projector and here activate the trapezoid option of automatic rise and fall. Now every time you tilt your projector it will not only autofocus but it will automatically recover its rectangular shape. This is called vertical gyroscope correction and the accelerometer chip is responsible since it reads the projector's tilt angle and the processor reads it. Correct. As you can see, I tried to tilt it several times to make the system fail, but it responds well and responds quickly. Now let's see how noisy it is with the help of my new sound level meter which I'm debuting with this projector so that you have a reference in a quiet room the sound level meter marked about 36 decibels and this is why the whisper of the wind sneaks into the street. If I put that no more than 5 centimeters from the projector, observe that the noise from its internal turbine reaches 45 decibels. Yes now I move a foot away the noise drops to 41 decibels. And if you're sitting 50 centimeters from the projector the noise is about 39 decibels value close to that of a quiet room so I can tell you for sure that this projector is not noisy. I will do the same now but measuring the sound power of your speakers 50 centimeters from the projector and 50% of the volume. And how do you see the power reaches 74.4 decibels? And if I turn the projector up all the volume to 100%. That they consider cheap for less than $200 why are you seeing the sound power exceeds 85 decibels and that is why I tell you that for any simple room these speakers will be more than enough. But if you want a better sound you can connect a speaker like this bank via Bluetooth and improve the quality. As the Bluetooth of the 4 boat is version 5, pairing and synchronization will be fast and reliable. As you can see, I already have the trump connected, they go to the projector, a four boat that makes it sound like that. Okay. 
Now I want you to see the range of colors that this Uin Conte Quattro can project and for that I like to use the TV calibration application here we can see and evaluate the contrast levels in the colors. The brightness levels in this color palette. And the seven most representative shades of colors such as red, green, blue, Yes they have. Yellow. Magenta. And white. And precisely, it is white that interests me because here I measure the maximum brightness of a 4 pot, but be careful, it is not about putting the meter and that's it, since distance plays a very important role. See how to change the measurement by moving the lux meter closer to and further away from the projector. That is why I must define a projection area that according to the texts must be one square meter so that the measured lux is close to the lumens and is more real, but I will do this in the following comparison. Now what many were waiting to compare this new Uin Boat 4 with my Uin Boat 2R Max which was the last projector I reviewed so friends let's see what happens in this comparison is between these two Wombo projectors. First let's see how they project in dim light and although they look the same here we notice that the T4 has a slightly higher brightness. Now with the lights off I will be passing color images of the TV calibration application so that you can draw your own conclusions. Observe that on the white screen the image settings are the same for both and I have set them to 100% to be able to measure the maximum possible brightness that they generate and these were the results. Everyone will form their own opinion and put yours in the comments remember that both projectors have the same processor and the same amount of RAM and storage but given these images it seems to me that the T4 has 20% more brightness that added to the fact that full autofocus is dual band and has Wi-Fi 6 makes it a winner and better than the T2R Max and obviously he has two Max too. The Uwin Boat 4 costs about $30 more than the T2R Max and each of you will decide if these 4 additional features are not worth paying that difference. Just like in my previous video, I installed a cooler in my T-Dose R Max projector. I would like to do the same with my T4 before I spend so many hours of use with my PS4 but it doesn't have a large grill but this small grill a little thinner and here I could use these small coolers that I despise for the T2R Max so it will split this pacifier sticks in two I will sand them down and remember and with a little bit of silicone I will glue them to the coolers now I will put some sticks of matches as paws and that's all. To connect it I will peel the ends and I will upload it to a surplus USB cable that I cut and finally I will paste it in the air inlet as you can see when you touch it, just this 1-4 bottle now it will work more ventilated and for longer and it was not very bad either. Just plug it into the USB port and now bring a little more fresh air to your 4. The advantage of using a console is that it generates high quality graphics and high brightness ideal for a projector so I will go from 1100 inches to make the T4 take up my entire screen with the keystone adjustment buttons and that's it. I'll know the one can 4 covers my entire screen exactly when these markings fit perfectly in the corners and now it's game time on my big custom screen. Excellent. Friends let me tell you with the honest truth that the experience is spectacular. The truth is, I think my screen deserves at least a thousand ANSI lumens to exploit it well, but with the 450 of a boat 4, the experience is not bad at all, eh. Although I see a slight blur at the edges that makes the sharpness not 100% homogeneous on the entire screen, I cannot blame it because that is normal in these mid-range projectors. Of course, when we get closer to about 20 centimeters, the pixels can be seen, but at the game distance that I am from, of about 7 meters, the resolution is more than acceptable. In addition, the latency of its HDMI input is about 50 milliseconds, so the gameplay is very good at least I feel the images of my PS4 very fluid. When a projector projects smaller images, its brightness and resolution will always be better, that is, the visual experience will be better, 
but a console must be projected to the extreme because here, instead of a visual experience, what people are looking for is to have a super immersive experience. How are you? Watch it. Be careful. I do not want to inflate this boat at all because I know it is not the best but according to what I am seeing it is not the worst either. What happens is that I am giving it all the conditions so that it looks its best once large white screen total darkness and projector settings to the maximum and that is why I get a good result and I say this because I see how some users go to the comments to criticize a projector when they have not even given it the necessary conditions for its best performance or they have not known how to calibrate their parameters. I am aware of the limitations of this 4 bottle, but I also know that it is the best cost benefit that I have had in this channel and that is why I would consider buying it from you. I would recommend that you first watch this video a couple of times to see what is wrong with this new 4 boat. Now how bad can you criticize this projector knowing in advance that it costs about $220 for that price it will not have 4 GB of RAM it will not be 4K you will not be able to use it well in broad daylight as if it had 3000 lumens and it will not be the definitive my brother projector if you thought that you were wrong but if there is but not for $220 well look my main interest is not to make you buy this projector at any cost my main interest. It is that you evaluate your options according to your budget and to all the real tests that I do to the different models that pass through here, perhaps one of them will fit for you. For any middle class home and average user if you are a pro or you are more demanding it may not seem like much but there will always be a projector for you but at a more demanding price and that is why for me these are its pros and cons. Has two automatic correction features is quite accurate. It is one of the few cost-effective projectors with Wi-Fi and 6. The sound is not of great quality but it does have regular power. The noise of its internal fans is very low. And it is still a compact device to take with you wherever you want. It is not a projector for the day but for a controlled light or semi-dark environment. The sharpness is good enough but it is not excellent either. It only has a gig of RAM and at times it could feel slow although it could on that RAM if you use it with an external video source. There is no certificate on your Android system which limits the playback quality of some streaming applications. This projector is not bad at all since of the ones I have reviewed on this channel this is the best since it is undoubtedly superior to the other models that have passed through here such as the former Min Q1 and the Gamboat 2 Max and T2R Max if your budget is around $220, the UN Con 4 could be an excellent option to see the World Cup that is coming up with a fairly decent brightness and quality. If your budget is higher, new models of projectors with more lumens are coming, so I'm going to review. For now, thanks for getting here. If you liked this review, give me your like and leave your comment to excite the YouTube algorithm and to recommend my videos. Remember that subscribing is free and it's the only thing I ask of you in return for sharing this is good. Information help me and let's democratize technology until the next video.